the famous exploding head, which we tried different models of. We had, um, we had a plaster one, if I can remember correctly. We had a wax one, and then we had the gelatin one. It was a, a Louis Del Grande uh, <laughs> um, formed head. Because you can see it just just before we you know just just before it goes you can see it it's a little shiny but you know again you have to sell it in the editing. They filled the head with with shell macaroni and vermicelli and all oh, blood. It was great, and but they couldn't. We did these tests and every time you, we put a squib in there you'd see the spark. When it exploded with the explosive there was a massive amount of smoke and it looked more like the Death Star than you know a human head exploding. There were many many tries. Probably the one where it sort of vaporized would have been the most realistic, but didn't look very good. So what would we do? And Gary Zeller was the, the effects coordinator. We were in this big warehouse. Gary lie down on the floor with a shotgun. And, and Gary crawled underneath the, the, the chair that this dummy was in, put a double-barreled shotgun to the back of his head. Pointed it to the back of the head. We all headed for the hills, except for the camera guys. And he just shot it. And it just like was fantastic. It's just like the image was mind boggling. <laughs> you know, it's like you said, the feed, the, the eyeball just shooting out and everything, all in like perfect detail. <laughs> uh, so there you go. But ironically, Pierre David, who was well aware of American culture as well as the kind of the NC 17 version of what. Uh, well, actually, in those days, it was an X, and that he stood up in dailies and said, it's perfect, we're screwed, we'll get an X, we have to reshoot it. And everybody, what? No, no, no. So the next weekend, we were back, and this dummy, we had three dummies, as I recall, all made by the French-Canadian crew, and Pierre was on their back. Do this, do this, uh, got to go on. And, all right, same deal, everyone turn on the cameras, hide in the trucks, Gary pulls out a shotgun, blows this thing, and the first one is solid plaster, just like a marble head blew up. Okay, well, it's, uh, said the Maj, they go again, I'm sorry, that didn't work. I'll try the next one, and same deal, click, explosion, filled with mint jelly, bright green <laughs> jelly flying everywhere. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Let's go again, we got one more. And the third one, filled with confetti. So they were trying to tell none too subtly tried to tell Pierre, we're not gonna do this again. We had it perfectly, and that's the one that's in the movie, and it didn't, win, it didn't get an X. I mean, it wasn't difficult to pick the right one, but it was performance. You know, we, we picked the one, and if you look at it in slow motion, it's quite amazing. The head, the face sort of falls down like a flap, and the stuff comes out, it's really, I had the 14 frames of it on my cutting room bulletin board for years. I don't know what happened to that, I wish I still had it. I have to find an old print somewhere and cut those frames out. But I remember it was 14 frames from beginning to end. Pretty cool 14 frames. <laughs>